back today with a pretty quick video on uh, basically these manipulate and animate functions in Mathematica. So one of the ways that we want to kind of visualize, again, one of the benefits of Mathematica is being able to kind of produce interactive, visually appealing, um, uh, visually and interactive uh, plots. Uh, it's one of the nice kind of features of Mathematica. Uh, and one of the ways that it can be interactive, which is very uh, kind of unique, uh, is using this kind of manipulate or animate function. So one of the ways that we can kind of visualize or we want to change the parameters of a, of a function, we can use this function called manipulate. So if I want to look at a sine wave and if I want to manipulate a uh, kind of this value in here, I could kind of play around and see how that changes the frequency of my function. So uh, it's a really, really nice kind of tool. You could have a phase, uh, phase multiplier so you could see changing that. Uh, basically, all you're doing is shifting the theta here. Again, you're changing that frequency uh, of your sine wave. And you could go a lot beyond, uh, again, look a lot into these applications. There's some really, really kind of fun uh, and cool kind of things that uh, go on here. Here, it's kind of showing you that instantaneous derivative along your function. So here, you kind of switch and change this guy around. But it's really, really nice um, uh, and a cool uh, way that you can kind of, again, look and have create some type of interactive graph. Uh, so it's really, really nice, especially if you're working a lot with functions. It's really easy and straightforward uh, and nice to do. So let's show you, uh, and actually animate is very, very similar, except animate will, instead of having a kind of the sliders, it will just kind of play continuously. So you can kind of see here. It'll run your animation. Be careful with your computer. You might, uh, but you, look, you can see kind of these nice, really, really cool undulations uh, and how this kind of graph is occurring, or graph is looking. So let's go ahead and play around with some of these functions. So let's go to, um, I'm going to use my function. I'm going to create kind of a unique function. Sine uh, a times sine of b times x plus v. And then I'm going to do times cosine of c times x plus v2. So that's going to be my function. I'm going to have this a, b, c, d. I'm going to have this c. I'm going to have a c here. I'm going to have a d here. How about that? That's looking a little bit better. Now I could do manipulate. I could do, I want to plot my function. And I want to go from x from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. And I want to manipulate. So I close my uh, plot. I do. I gotta have a, I gotta have my frame. <laughs> my frame has to be there, otherwise I don't feel uh, nice. So I'm gonna go from a goes from minus ten to ten. I'm gonna go from b goes from maybe one to ten. I'm gonna go c. C goes from actually I'll go B goes from minus two pi to two pi. And I want to go C goes from minus ten to ten. And D goes from one to ten. And let's do P two goes from minus two pi to two pi. Close it up. Lots of different parameters. You can kind of change essentially the names. So you can kind of um, there's a way to kind of there's a way to kind of make this a little bit nicer and you can get really fancy with it. But here, actually, what we're gonna do here. So plotting my function. Oops, excuse me. Plotting it in here. All we have to do now, actually, let me actually plot the actual function in here. There we go. Sometimes it needs to have essentially these variables kind of written in here. Um, it's a kind of a weird, uh, uh, kind of one of the, some, a little bit of an annoying part of working with manipulate. But anyways, so now I can kind of vary some parameters. I'm going to do plot range all. So I can kind of change some parameters here. I change B. You can kind of see some weird things happening, some phase changes, but I love changing the frequencies here. Super cool. Uh, so you can kind of see uh, and play around with that one. You could also basically take the exact same syntax here and then just, again, if your computer, be careful. Uh, this might break the computer. But 
you can kind of see these all playing around at once. You can kind of, I'm going to make this guy, make this guy slower. I want to, so that we can see, I want this guy a little bit slower. I want to create like a little phase lag to create some cool things. There this guy. But yeah. Anyway, you can see and have fun and play around, <laughs> play around with this uh, at your leisure. But some really, really cool, uh, interesting things could you know happen again with uh, manipulate and animate again to kind of really want to see it, create an impact with your figure. And that's always the thing, and especially for presentations. This is a nice thing to kind of have if you're looking at uh, some parameter varying, uh, especially looking at for Fourier analysis. You can kind of show these kind of dynamic visualizations. Um, so a nice thing to kind of have at your disposal um, when you're producing plots. So. Uh, that's it for today's video. Next time we're going to finish up with module two and unfortunately finish, enough, finish up with our Mathematica kind of demonstrations, at least for a short time being. We'll look, come back later for fast Fourier transform, but we are going to be plotting with air bars. In this course, you need air bars on every single plot that you generate uh, here. So make sure you do that and we'll be good to go. All right. Thanks. Uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.